guys, it's Rianne, and today I am going to be showing you guys my nail polish collection. I have gotten a lot of requests for this, um, and I hope it's not disappointing because I really don't have all of that large of a nail polish collection, although if it were up to me I would have a lot larger of one. Um, but I basically keep my entire collection that I will go through um, in this box that I got while I was in Paris with my favorite... Um, scent that I got. It's just a Roger Galay box. Not that that really matters. And I keep this in the top drawer of my vanity. So I figured I would go through and show you guys all of my little nail polishes that I own. And uh, this video might be pretty quick, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so yes, let's go ahead and get started. So my favorite brand for nail polish is definitely OPI. I just love the consistency of the formula, um, and I like the way the the size of the brush and the way that the polish goes on really, really nicely. Um, so first, I'll go ahead and show you guys the really boring part. Um, I have the OPI, what is this, natural nail base coat, and I also have the OPI top coat. So um, actually, when I was, they were having a deal at Ulta, if you bought if you bought an OPI, you got a um, the base coat or the top coat, and I actually bought the top coat just because I wanted the top coat. But um, if you guys want to check if you have an Ulta around you, you might want to because um, I've seen them have that deal go by quite a bit. So um, yes, so I use these as my top and base coat usually. And starting with the nail color I have on all of my nails, except this one has another color on it too, which I will get to. Um, this is Black Onyx by OPI. I really, really like this color. It's sort of like a flat black, but I kind of like that about it because I think it's really chic. It almost looks kind of like leather in a way to me, I don't know. Um, but I really like this color a lot and I've been loving it this season. The next OPI color was the first OPI color I ever owned and I really love this color a lot. It's called Chapel of Love and it's just this really nice sort of corally pink color. I don't know how else to describe it. It has almost like gold reflex in it. And I really love this color in the spring and summertime especially. The next color is called Significant Other Color, and I thought that name was really cute. Um, I really like this because it is a sort of light lavender color, and it has awesome sort of green reflex in it, which I just think is probably the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, so I really like this color, too. The next color is called Pompeii Purple, which kind of baffles me a little bit because I definitely wouldn't categorize this as a purple. Um, but it does have purple reflex in it, and I would say it's more of a hot magenta sort of color. Um, as far as the nail polish itself goes, but I really love this color regardless of the name. And the last color I have is this perfect red color from OPI, and this one is called A Wee Bit of Red. Um, and I recently got this one actually, and it has a little bit of red reflex in it as well. Another brand I really, really like is China Glaze, and I only have three nail polishes from China Glaze that I've tried so far. First color is called Jamaican Out, and I will admit I did partially buy this because I love the name of it. Um, but it's just this really awesome sort of corally orange color, and it has gold reflex in it. The next color is this awesome just kind of very elementary yellow color, if you know what I mean. Um, and I really like it. Oh, I forgot. Oh, no, that one I told you the name of. This one is called Happy Go Lucky. And this color is definitely the one that I wore the most out of all of my nail polishes over the summer. And this one is called Pool Party. And it dries matte and it's very, very neon. Um, but it dries super fast because it's matte. So I really like this color as well. The next nail polish that I have is one from Chanel. This is the only Chanel nail polish that I own because... As much as I love Chanel nail polish, it's very hard for me to fork over $20 to $25 for them. So this is the one that I own. This is the black satin color. The next color is a little mini nail polish from the Bourjois Paris line. Um, this one does not have a name, but it's just black with a lot of very silver sparkle. And that color I have layered on top of black onyx on both of my um, ring fingers. So I'm also a really big fan of Sally Hansen. So the next colors that I have are from the Extreme Hardware Collection. And the first one is Blew Me Away, which just is this really awesome um, blue color that was very, very trendy this past spring. And then I also have White On, which is just a regular old white color, um, because sometimes I like to detail on my ring fingers with three white dots. I don't know why, but I do, and so I use this polish to do it. And the last one I have is Mint Sorbet, which is this really, really cool mint color that was also very trendy this past spring and summer. I also have the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails base coat. Next Sally Hansen nail polish is also from the Hard as Nails collection, but I have not seen this packaging in a really long time, which leads me to wonder how long I've actually had this nail polish. I have not used it in a really long time. But this is in the color Ice, which is um, just a very shimmery 
light pink color. I don't even know if it will reintegrate if I shake it. Okay, I guess it will. So perhaps soon I will find out if it still works, but I think I may have had this for longer than you're supposed to. <laughs> I only have one nail polish from the Sally Hansen Insta Dry collection because I didn't really like um, the way that this one went on. It started to kind of clump up and dry, I think, too quickly, actually. Um, but I just personally didn't like it. And this is in the color Mint Sprint, which kind of confuses me because it's not really a mint color. I would say it's much more of a greenish aquamarine, but um, it's called Mint Sprint anyways. The last Sally Hansen nail polish color I have is from the Complete Salon Manicure line, and this one is in the color Purple Pulse. It's just a really awesome purple color, and it has light and dark purple reflex in it. I'm also a really big fan of the NYC New York Colors nail polishes, so I have a few of those ones. This one is this really cool maroon dark purple, and this one is in Manhattan. The next one is in Greenwich Village, and it's just this really nice poppy pink color. And the last one I have is a very interesting color. I really like it a lot. It's called East Village. And it's this almost like, I don't even know how to describe it really. It's almost like a teal color that also has teal reflex in it. I really like this color a lot. <laughs> Next, I have this nail polish from Sinful Colors. I have no idea what this one is called, but it's just sort of a darker pink color, and I really like it. I have one Milani nail polish color, and this is in the color Pink Pop. And the last nail polish I have is from Hard Candy, and this is in the color Sky, which is this really, really cool light blue color that has these awesome blue reflex in it. But the problem is when I paint my nails with it, I don't really see the reflex, um, which makes me kind of sad because in the bottle it looks really cool, but then on my nails it's a little bit disappointing. Um, but I still will use it anyway because I like it. <laughs> the rest of the things in the box are just nail tools and toe spreaders, and toothpicks and things like that. So um, that is the end of my nail polish collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you next time. Bye guys!